all right so i'm going to be quick with this one basically we're supposed to find the perpendicular distance between the opposite faces of a regular hexagon now it's regular that means um, the interior angles are all equal and all the sides are equal now the first thing i did uh, was to draw a straight line uh, 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 yeah a vertical line right through the center of the um, hexagon now that straight line is going to divide the uh, opposite sides into two equal parts that means I'm going to have a right angle triangle okay all right um, I'm, I'm assuming uh, a right angle triangle and if it divides this side into two then I'll have 3 cm here okay now I need to have this angle since I'm not giving any other information that means I'll have to find the size of one of the interior angles okay now in order to find the size of one of the interior angles which this line um, from this uh, vertex to this vertex divides I'll simply use the 2n or rather let me use the simpler one n minus 2 um, times 180 okay in this case it's a hexagon so that's going to be 6 minus 2 times 180 that's 4 times 180 and that will give me um 4 times 180 4 times 8 is 32 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7 720 now to find the size of one of the interior angles i would go 720 over 6 and that will give me 120 degrees so that leaves me with 60 degrees right here because this line divides this angle into two equal parts all right now the next thing i'm going to do is to find the size of x okay so opposite over adjacent will give me uh tan 60 okay so tan 60 is equal to the opposite over the adjacent now that's going to give me tan 60 is um is uh one over sod three and that's equal to x over three on this side okay and that's going to give me x will be equal to three over sod three and that's what i have now, yeah. now I have not. Now I'm going to double this to be able to find the remaining, the remaining length because all I found was from here to here. I'm going to double it, so that's going to leave me with two times three over so three, and that's going to be six over so three, which is six so three over 3 and that will leave me with 2 so 3 okay, all right so you can look at the you can look at the solution